Hello everyone, very good morning. And today uh, we are going to discuss one question which I have received in my ABAP ritual group. It may be a very simple requirement, but still let's uh, have the look maybe for the fresher kind of uh, people or who is new to ABAP for them, it can be a little uh, difficult, okay? So let's see the requirement. So the requirement over here is actually the data is there in this format. They are having the fields and the value. Field is there in ID, first name and last name. Again, ID, first name and last name is repeating. Again, ID, first name and last name, ID, first name and last name. So this is repeating in this way and they want to transpose in this format actually, okay? So ID, first name and last name, these three should fields should be there in the, another internal table, both tables are internal table basically, okay? And data of one internal table, they want to put in this format. So this is the requirement. He has explained the requirement very clearly. That's the best thing of this requirement. And that's why I got interested to solve this problem. And now let me show you how the solution uh, I have written it over here already the program is written i will simply explain it so here the first internal table is structure we are defining the internal table with a default key so that i can use the value operator for populating the data into the first internal table this is the data right and the second internal table structure is over here the data need to be there in ID first name and last name format. So three fields I have declared. Again, the internal table, type table of this structure and one work area I would require to fill up this uh, internal table. And putting the loop on the first internal table, putting the data into the work area and storing over here the in Cytabix value, okay? And if field is going to be equal to ID, then populate the second work area ID. Similarly, if the first field is going to be the first name, populate their corresponding value to the first name and so on. And once the, this is a little logical part, you know, so if the index is going to be the multiple of three, then append the value because every time you don't have to append the value, right? It is, uh, it will not make sense, right? You will get the duplicate value and also some of the field will not be populated, all right? So for that purpose, we have done this one, right? This LP underscore tab x mod three equals to zero, then only just append and clear so that again, it will go into the loop, you know? And once the data is prepared and come as a multiple of three, this particular value will be populated and it will now I'm um, displaying the data, right? So just run this one and see the output. Here the Priya Charya, uh, 456 Priya Charya, 222 Daitya Srinivasan, 214 Rajay Venkatraman, 123 Nilay Chandran. And the same, the requirement over here is also uh, we are having, right? 456, 222, 214, and 123, right? So the complete requirement here in the same uh, 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 in the same way he wanted the output we are getting, right? Let me quickly show you in the debugger also. So put the big point here, press F8. And now press F6. So here our data got populated, right? We have the data ID. So I think this we have to increase the size ID, first name, last name, ID, first name, last name. This is what the data got populated in the way what he's having. And here we are just putting the loop and populating the data, populating the data. And when it will come to the multiple of three. So this is the third, right? Site of X3. So three is the multiple of three. So LV tab X mod three is going to give the zero. All right, and here then we are appending the first record, right? So the first record 456 Priya Charya got populated over here. And similarly, 
for the second uh, fourth record it will not go inside right fifth record also it will not go inside and for the sixth record again it will come because six is multiple of three right so mod here i'm checking right so the meaning of mod means the tab x this value for going to see it tab x is six right and six divided by three this is the remainder right so six divided by three the remainder will be zero and zero equal to zero that means true so every times whenever the multiple of three will come the control will flow to this particular part and we are going to populate the final internal table right and we are displaying it over here using the cl demo output this class right so hope you learned something fine thank you for watching this session and don't forget to like and subscribe and motivate me to pre prepare more and more videos like this thank you